Hello, Shano School District instructional staff. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Eric Gran, and I'm going to come in and hopefully help your district out uh, with some of the problems you're having with uh, technology right now, especially with your Mac transition over to complete that. Uh, and there's some techie issues behind the scene and, and help take care of that. So I want to give you a little background and I'm going to ask for your faith, trust and patience a little bit with this. Some of you may know me personally. Uh, I've actually been around in town for a number of years since I was a little kid. Uh, was kind of a weekend warrior kind of thing coming up and then moved here permanently in 2017 and have lived here since then. Uh, but uh, also a former member of the Shano Ski Sharks and so I've done that for many, many years. Uh, so again, I may know some of you. My background, so you understand, I am not a techie techie person. I am an educator first. And so I did 10 years in the classroom mostly middle school, so seven in middle school, and then my last three uh, were in a junior high to high school setting, so I've got quite a, a breadth there and depth of knowledge. Uh, I've also been an adjunct professor for Cardinal Stritch University for several years, uh, teaching their graduate level programs in instructional technology. So that's my background, and understand that when I come in to help with setup, and uh, of Mac computers or iPads, whether it be at the student level or the teacher level, I try to put myself back in the classroom first. This technology should be helping you make you work more efficiently. And from what I'm being told, all it's doing right now is throwing up some barriers in your way and some roadblocks. And so my goal is to come in and get rid of as many of those as possible to simplify it. I like following the KISS methodology, keep it simple, stupid kind of thing. Um, and that's really the goal. Certainly there's going to be some PD involved down the road for you and you're going to need to get some training if you're not comfortable with the Mac operating system and how that works. But we at the technical level are going to try to remove the barriers that are getting in your way right now and make it work efficiently. Honestly, I think you've made a good choice um, when it comes to the hardware piece of it. And it is a multi-year process to get there. But I've done this for several school districts, either that I've been a direct employee at, most often where I've been the district level technology administrator, uh, or uh, at individual schools where they've brought me in at an individual basis to work with them and help them get up to speed and stuff. But I've done this type of Mac transition at a number of places around Wisconsin. So here's the challenge. I've had an initial meeting already with your technology staff, your IT department, and already talked through a number of issues that you're having and everything. And here's where the patience part comes in. Um, we really want to retool the way your Macs are running for you and how they're set up. And I know you've already been through it once already. Uh, and so that's the hard part about me coming in here. And I know for some of you, your patience is probably at a wit's end. So I'm gonna ask again for your trust and your patience as over the next several weeks, we get the backend stuff set up correctly and ready to go for management. We retool how deployment goes on the Macs. And then eventually when the time is right and when your department, your IT department is ready and I'll be there to assist them, we are gonna have to pull your Macs back, clear them off, redo their load, and then get them back out to you. And I'm gonna try to set up a process for them that is fast and as efficient as possible. So again, if you have questions, by all means, especially if you know me, reach out, reach out through your, through Ben, basically reach out through Ben. I'm happy to answer questions. Give me a little faith. This isn't my first rodeo with this. I've done this a bunch of times and do know that I'm thinking about the teachers first, the students first, and the classroom and the teaching situation ahead of everything else. Thank you.